Digital detox apps, unplugged forest festivals, and Wi-Fi proof homes. Today I'm going to be counting down my favorite examples of digital disconnect. To kick things off at number four, we have digital detox events. A company called Folk Rebellion created a weekend getaway retreat for people and you could not use your phones at all. They wanted to go old school at this retreat and nobody was allowed any digital technology whatsoever. You had to use paper pads to communicate, you had to sign up for different arts and crafts activities. And making things even more old school, all of the attendees at the retreat actually had disposable cameras to capture their wonderful weekend of digital disconnect. Next up, we have an app that actually helps you digitally disconnect, which is kind of ironic. It's called Flipped and it was created in Toronto and how it works is it actually controls how much time you spend on different apps and different programs on your phone. It can turn off notifications, it can turn off your Wi-Fi, and it can even avoid opening certain apps if you've been on them for too long. Coming in at number two, we have another weekend retreat that is aimed to help people disconnect from their tech, aka their smartphones, except this one's a little different in that instead of being in a city, this one is located in British Columbia and the main purpose is to have the attendees connect with nature. So Innocent Unplugged is the name of the weekend getaway and it's all about connecting with yourself and of course connecting with mother nature. Innocent Unplugged is actually such a popular event for people that they have to sell tickets because of such a high demand for people to go. And my number one pick for a digital disconnect is Wi-Fi proof homes. A woman in the UK who is in a sense actually allergic to Wi-Fi signals painted her entire house with an anti-radiation paint that blocks any Wi-Fi signals as well as cable. This is definitely going to the extreme when you want to digitally disconnect. I don't know if I could personally do it, but it's definitely one way to do it. Those were my top picks for digital disconnect. If you know of other ways to disconnect from your digital lifestyle, please let me know by tweeting me at Jamie Neely or leave them in the comment section below.